Developing now, a violent start to the weekend with seven people shot in Indy since Friday night. Tonight, we know two of those shootings are now homicide investigations. On the far east side, the first deadly shooting happened on Monterey Court near Post Road. Police found a man collapsed outside a home just after seven last night. He died at the hospital. Right now, there is no information on a suspect or what led up to this shooting. And on the near east side, around 1030, police say a man was shot several times inside a home along North Dearborn Street. IMPD says the victim, who was found by his son, died shortly after police arrived. Police say this stemmed from a fight over money for drugs. And less than five hours after that shooting, detectives arrested this man, 32-year-old David Ice. He faces preliminary murder charges, but the victim has not yet been identified. Now, along with those homicides, IMPD responded to several other shootings, leaving some in critical condition. You could see these shootings laid out here on this map. And as CBS 4's Max Lewis explains, he tells us more about what we know so far and what community leaders say needs to happen to stop this violence. Just after 2.30 Saturday morning, IMPD officers were called to the Epic Ultra Lounge in Castleton on reports of shots fired. Officers were at a nearby apartment complex and rushed over to the club. People at the Epic Lounge said nothing happened out here, don't know what we're talking about. And then a short time later, just around the corner, uh, officers received a run there on a truck in the middle of the roadway with a person shot in it. The man in the truck was listed in critical condition, and about five minutes later, a man who had been shot at the club walked into Community North. According to police reports, officers located more than a dozen shell casings in the parking lot. Some more information came to light. There was actually a gun battle out here between two individuals. A few hours after that, police were called to the 200 block of Whitcomb Avenue. There, they found a man shot. He was taken to Eskenazi Hospital in serious condition. Two more people walked into Indianapolis hospitals this morning also with gunshot wounds. One shooting happened just north of downtown, the other in Beach Grove. It seems like in our society today, we have lost our moral compass. And Reverend Charles Harrison with the Ten Point Coalition said he's tired of waking up to this overwhelming amount of violence. When people get into arguments or, or beefing with one another, they tend to go to violence. And, and what is really troubling today is they just don't seem to have any regard anymore for the sanctity of human life. Harrison said he hopes people will come forward and tell police what they know so they can get these shooters off the street. If we continue to see this, then, then we're going to continue to see record-breaking numbers of, of uh, you know, violence in, in the city. In Indianapolis, I'm Max Lewis, CBS 4 News.